Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking about pay in the minor leagues and the major leagues and how you do not get paid in the offseason or in spring training. I get a lot of questions about this. I get a lot of people yelling at me about this. So let's kind of get into exactly how it works today. Uh, before we do so, today's video is brought to you by Super Speed Slugger. We use Super Speed Slugger's overload, underload training bats with all of our Antinoli baseball teams. Definitely go and check these out. If you go to the description box below, click on the link. It's going to take you over to their site, and you'll be able to check them out. I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's talk today about when you get paid, okay? Um, so in the major leagues and in the minor leagues, you only get paid during the actual regular season. So typically April until the last game is played. In the major leagues, typically you're gonna play through September. In the minor leagues, you're gonna get paid through uh, August and then you might play like a few days in September. And then the season is over. So you're only gonna get paid during the regular season. You don't get paid in the playoffs. In the major leagues, you you know, if you make the playoffs and keep going in the playoffs, you get, um, so like a bonus basically, okay? But you don't get your regular season salary in the playoffs, okay? You don't get it in the off season. So when the season ends and the playoffs are over, you don't get paid anything. And then you don't get paid in the regular or in the in spring training, okay? So I've talked a lot about this and I made a video about exactly when you get paid during the season. And again, it depends what what level you're at. For me, when I was in the major leagues, when I was playing, the major league minimum was 400000 And that's what I got paid when I was in the major league. So I got a check. Uh, I was making about, six. I think it was like 65000 or so a month over six months. And that comes out to 400000 Okay, so right around there. Um, and again, I get paid every two weeks. And it's only for the season. So a lot of people were yelling at me, like, you're an idiot. You don't know how to add. You would never get 65000 Yes, that's what I, I I played there. I got the check. I saw it, and it had my name on it and everything, and I signed it and put it in the bank. Um, and so that's how you get paid. You don't get paid in the offseason. So especially in the minor leagues, guys get jobs in the offseason because even though the checks are, I mean, in the regular season in the minor leagues, the checks are really small anyway, so doesn't really matter but when the season ends you don't have any money coming in for September October November December January February March you don't get anything for all those months okay and so again if you're a minor league player and you're making if you're a short season player and you made a whopping one thousand dollars a month for the few months that you played and you made a you know you made in the minor league season let's say it's five months let's say it's low a five month season Let's say you made a whopping like six grand, those paychecks stop and you have to then go find a way to make some money unless you have uh, a really, really rich girlfriend that's going to support you or hopefully uh, parents or somebody's going to help you out. You got to go work, okay? And so you're not making anything in the off season, all right? Now, when you get to spring training, when you get to spring training, you get paid meal money only, okay? And this is minor leagues and major leagues. So if you signed a $100 million contract over five years and you're getting paid $20 million a year to play, you're, only, you're gonna get your first check in April. You're not gonna get a check before then. You're just gonna get meal money in spring training. Now again, you're making 100 million for five years, you don't really care. But for the guys that aren't, for the minor leaguers, again, that are making 6,000, 7,000, $8,000 a year, when you get to spring training, you still don't get any money, okay? So you're just gonna get meal money. Now, when I was playing, it was $20 a day in the minor leagues, and in the major leagues, I think it was $100 a day. So you're still not getting paid very much. Like you show up to minor league camp, you're getting a big $20 a day, all right? Um, and usually, or in minor league camp, they're always gonna put you up in a hotel, so you don't have to pay for a hotel. And they're usually going to supply you with food so you can get it at the hotel. Uh, like in spring training for me, a lot of times you'd either get up early and go eat at the La Quinta, you know, the nice waffle maker and some nice, you know, sausages. Um, 
and or you can go over to the stadium and depending on your team your organization like when i was with the padres they made some really nice food over there so i i would usually you know i'd usually try to get to the stadium especially in big league camp but uh, actually, with the Padres, minor leaguers and major leaguers ate together, so it was really, really good food. Some teams aren't like that, though. Like when I was with the Nationals in spring training, minor league food was totally separate than major league food. So minor league food was not the greatest. Um, so you can do either one. You can eat at the hotel, you can go to the stadium and eat there. Okay, so they're going to pay you or they're going to feed you. So you don't have to buy usually breakfast and usually lunch you're not going to have to buy they'll supply that too again if you're with the Padres or like the Indians they've got really good food for both major league and minor league um, but certain organizations the minor leagues are not great food so sometimes you might want to like bring something with you sometimes you might like leave to go get something quick and come back if the food is terrible so it just depends but you're almost always going to have to buy dinner because they don't really supply dinner for you okay so after the game's over you're gonna have to buy dinner so usually you take that 20 bucks and you're going to get dinner, all right? And then you don't have any spending money. And, you, you know, if you want to go see a movie, you're going to have to pay, pay for it yourself out of the hopefully few bucks you made during the offseason or the six, seven, eight thousand dollars you made during the uh, during the season. OK, um, that's why I always say it's it's if you can get a big signing bonus, which it's hard to get a big signing bonus. But if you can, like when I played, I lived off my signing bonus, like the money that I made in season especially my first few years in the minor leagues, that like paid for some of my food. That was pretty much it. Everything else I lived off of was off of my signing bonus, okay? So uh, a lot of people think that like minor league players get paid a ton of money. I, I said this before in a video. I remember my first year playing uh, in the minor leagues and I remember I was doing a camp in the off season. I was running a camp and one of the dads of the campers was talking to me about getting paid. And he was like, what do you minor leaguers make? And I was like, oh, we don't make uh, probably not what you think. And he's like, no, serious, but like how much do you make? You make like a million a year? And I was like, a million a, a, million a year for minor leaguers? But no, I was like, uh, well, last year in short season, I made like uh, $5,000. He was like, ah, oh, 5000 a week? No, 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 5000 a week. Uh, 5000 for the whole, for the whole year. That's what we got paid. I was like, and I said, luckily I got a signing bonus, but a lot of guys don't get a signing bonus and uh, they live off $5,000 a year. So um, that is how you get paid, okay? You only get paid during the season, not in the off season, not in the playoffs, not in the spring training, in season. Five months for minor leagues, six months for big leagues, okay? So hopefully that helps you guys out. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Check the description box below. I got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out as well. And that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you later.